Good morning, welcome to day five of Vlogmas. It is a lovely morning here, um, misty but dry, which is lovely. I've already been out for a walk, which was really, really refreshing along the shore, which I really enjoyed. And now I'm going to settle in for a few minutes and have a cup of coffee, watch a few other vlogs, and I'm going to show you what came in the post today and what I'm going to enjoy spending a little time with today as well. I have quite a lot to do today. I'm working tomorrow, Thursday and Friday, so I want to get a few bits and pieces sorted out in the house today and have a bit of sewing to do. So I've lots to do today, but I thought I would take a wee bit of time out to start it off and start it off in the way I mean it to go on nice and relaxed, even though busy. So I'll show you what I got. So this arrived in the post today. I have been toying with the idea of getting it for quite a long time and was suffering severe bouts of envy when I could see it in other people's um, Instagram posts and the, the projects and it looked beautiful. So I finally bit the bullet and bought it from Molly at a homespun house and it arrived this morning. So I'm really looking forward to getting a little time just to, to browse through that and have a little read. room you normally see it on the podcast and it's generally tidy there can be little corners of it that have a little bit of clutter particularly on podcast day when I want to move the clutter um, I'm almost ashamed to bring you into it today because as I've said the craft room isn't used as much in the winter because of light levels um, it becomes a bit of a dumping ground and I'm taking you in with that disclaimer, it's not tidy. This is an advent calendar that I made years ago for the kids and they have all their candy in it and are opening up every day. And I see, if it will focus, one has removed a sweetie for today, but not both. That's actually both days, fourth and fifth. But this is the craft room. And as I said, it's a bit of a dumping ground. Things are just sitting about everywhere. Photographs, pictures that have been taken down because of Christmas decorations going up. Empty boxes. A step machine. I do not know where that was on earth from. The spinning wheel is currently in here because the Christmas tree has taken its place. But this is real life as it is at the moment. People say they like to keep it real. I like to focus on the nice things, not necessarily the real things, but this is real life today. I did get my picture up from Rhinebeck, which I'm really pleased with, along with my New Orleans picture. But this is real life at the moment, and that's the desk. Everything has got dumped on the desk, and that's where I need to be working today. So I'll have to do a bit of a tidy up first and then I can do some work.
So I'm really thankful for my knitwear today. I am wearing my One Love Shawl by Susan B. Anderson. I called this project Always. I think I knitted in and around the time, I think, that Alan Rickman uh, passed away. And Alan Rickman has always been my favourite actor long before um, Harry Potter, but I'm a huge Harry Potter fan as well. So I called this project Always and I knit it in a homespun house half-blood prints colourway so it, it really toned in, tied in. But it's one of my favourite shawls and I am so thankful for it today and I am also thankful for hot coffee. It's taxi run number whatever today and I am sitting waiting for James and I thought I would show you the knitting I was working on. Last night I finished my candy cane socks and today I have blocked them and they're they're drying at the moment. I'll show you those later. I think I have a little bit of footage earlier of uh, soaking them and blocking them. But I decided I had so much of the yarn left. Uh, there's enough here for a full pair of socks easily. But I thought I would put on a pair for Amy that I might uh, throw in with her Christmas box and I know she's probably going to watch this but you're getting a pair of socks possibly um, but I, I decided to put on she likes shorty socks and I thought I would try and get them on because as I've said a couple of times now I'm working for the next three days and possibly at lunchtime if I happen to be on my own at lunchtime I'll get to knit the staff room's not really conducive for knitting uh, normally but I might, if I'm on my own, get an opportunity to knit and I wanted something that would be straightforward. So I thought if I got um, the top done, which is I've only a few more rows to do in that, considering they're shorties, and then I'm going to put in the fish lips kiss heel so that the heel's done and then I can just work down the foot. These really shouldn't take long. I worked out on my sock, there were about 14 stripes on the foot. She has a slightly bigger foot, not, not particularly much bigger but a little bit bigger so I'll put in another stripe um, and that should maybe two stripes and that'll cover her foot easily and that's my plan just to, to knit these into shorties we'll see how that goes I might throw that idea to the wind but that's the plan at the moment and I'll sit here have a few minutes to wait um, I'm still cold but a few minutes to wait until he's out of school and I can watch the world go by and work on the socks. Thank you. 